Hey guys, and welcome to part seven of the beginner Roblox builder studio tutorial. <laughs> what am I doing? We've covered how to find models, how to make models and everything in between. Today, we're going to cover the terrain editor. Let's close our toolbox from the last episode. Click on the home button and click editor. Now, if you plan to be a low poly or cartoon style builder, this won't really be too important for you. But anything else, this is an insane tool. We can click generate import or clear we're going to generate for today so we have a base of something to work on we can now pick how big we want our generation to be let's say we want it like this uh we'll go super big like that and we can pick what type of biomes we would like inside of this generation. Arctic dunes, canyons, lava scape, water, mountains, hills, plains, and marsh. And the amount of blending. Biome size, seed, all of this stuff. I think we want arctic, dunes, canyons, lava scape, water, and marsh. We want it all. Let's generate. It's going to generate our terrain. And it did generate it, but it's a little bit under our base plate. So let's delete our base plate. Now, this is a pretty poor generation, and that's because we didn't give it enough space to work for how much stuff we were asking for so i'm gonna make this way bigger because we want mountains and now i'm gonna generate it again as you can see it's very very laggy but it is generating our terrain i'm gonna let that finish and then i'll show you guys how to edit the terrain all right guys our terrain generation has finished so we're gonna click on edit and we just clicked our select tool again to unselect it all let's shrink our side menus down so we can see more of this terrain and what roblox gave us we have caves which is pretty cool water of course desert areas mountains dunes arctics every Everything that we've asked Roblox to do, they have done completely for us. These three, we're not going to play around with too, too much. Transform will select all of your environment and we can rotate it. It's going to be super, super laggy and possibly crash my studio because this is so much mass. But there we go. We've rotated it 180 degrees. Select selects it. When you use select, we are selecting this area and we could do certain things with it. So if we selected here and then clicked fill, we could pick what we want it to be filled with. Let's go water and fill. Now that area is filled with water. We will take our select tool off and see that we have water over here now. None of those really matter as much when it comes to actually editing your terrain in smaller places. Let's say we like this area over here, but we wanted it to be water inside this little mountain area. We can click on paint, select water, and start painting over this water. Now we do get some very weird stuff when it comes to making water. Like this does not make sense, a bowl shape of water. So we are going to do control Z and we're going to edit this area to make it better for water. The first thing we're going to do is sculpt. And then I'm going to go to our box, subtract. And as you can see, we are flattening this area out or subtracting terrain from itself. We also have a tool called flatten, which would be better in this case. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. We're going to put it down here and we're just going to carve away at all of this stuff. Now we have a super flat area inside. We can go to draw. If we go to paint, it's once again going to paint the uh, terrain that we already have. But if we go to draw and then water, as you can see, we could draw it inside of here. Another thing that will really help when you're drawing stuff is turning plane lock to auto. This way we can lock where we're looking. Let's say we make this a little bit bigger. And now we can't draw on the terrain edges. So we could draw perfectly smooth water inside this area. Make sure we fill this all in. And now we have a cool water spot inside this mountain. If we go to paint, we can select anything. Let's turn our plane lock off. Let's say we want some ice or glacier next to this water. We're going to turn off, ignore water, and then we can start painting over stuff to have this sort of glacier like look. We could paint some inside the water. And then let's say we grab ice. We can paint to connect those and then paint on the outside edge for a better transition. And then we can grab snow to paint on the outside of that and have an even better transition. The more material variations you use in each biome, the better your terrain is going to look. And of course, the more time you spend on it. Now let's say we want a color pop. Let's go ahead and draw rock. We're gonna set the brush size down and we're just gonna click 
in some spots and that is going to add rock into our area now there is a lot of trial and error that goes on with terrain tools so i would just say hop in play around with the random tools and see what works best for you i think that will wrap it up for the terrain tools video up next we're going to get into some bonus objects which will really help your build stand out